Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drive. Today we have a mission. We're gonna find out if the CLA AMG 45S is really worthy of having the AMG badge on it. But before we get into the review, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the YouTube video, follow us on all digital platforms, help us out, we need your support. Let's go to the review. So the reason why we ask ourselves, is this really an AMG, is the engine. It's called the M139 engine, which means it's a two liter, four cylinder engine, turbocharged, you see the big turbo in there, producing 421 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. It's capable of accelerating the car from zero to 100 in four seconds flat, and it tops out at 270 kph. So the engine is handcrafted by Mr. Fabio Vanning, which means they stay true to their original one man, one engine design, which is very nice. So the first point really goes into favor for this two liter engine. It's an all wheel driven car with primarily the front wheels are driven, but since the differential is so good, you can even send up to 100% of the power to each of the rear wheels. So they managed to do an incredible job and you even have a drift mode. So that is very good and the car tells a lot about itself just by the stats. So first point I would give him, engine is good, power is good, acceleration is good, weight is also nice and it looks like an AMG. Let's talk about the design. As you can see in the front, it has the Panamericana grille with the vertical stripes. This is only for the CLA 45 and the 45S AMG models. The CLA 35 has one horizontal line and a different grille. Then you have these big black aerodynamic bits here, channeling the air, this wonderful lips and this little aerodynamic part making it much more aggressive. A front lip here and also on the other side the black air intake. Coming to the side you have wonderful 19 inch wheels, Michelin Pilot Sport tires and then on the side those black skirts, black roof and black mirror so it matches everything perfectly well. As you can see it has wide hips, a very very nice back part, a big spoiler, this is the biggest one you can get also in black, black AMG badge, CLA 45 S badge and it has round tailpipe so not the squarish typical ones you see on the V8 models but a little bit more round. Then you have this diffuser which looks very nice. I'm not really sure if it channels the air and pushes the back of the car down, but it looks quite nice and makes a great impression. So from behind, I love the car, really. I love the fact that they use those little lips here just to bring the air a little bit out. So this one is fake, for example, but it looks nice. One sad part though, when you come to the exhaust pipes and look inside, you're gonna see that it is fake. So they aren't really four exhaust pipes, there are only two, if you look closely. Other than that, I really love it. Welcome to the inside of this wonderful CLA 45 AMG S. So as you can see, the first thing you notice in the car is the wonderful design of those air vents coming right into your face looking like a wheel. This black silver combination with the ambiental light and this dark blue, this wonderful steering wheel with, with the silver pads here, the silver shifting knobs and everything is very nicely and qualitative made from the design to the quality that you have here. For example, whatever I touch is premium quality although we are in a standard basic entrance model AMG. Steering wheel is leather of course, the side of the steering wheel is also nice with these little knobs here. Here you can store some stuff also. You have this wonderful armrest that is also a leather armrest. You can rest your hand here and then you have this little pad also covered in leather which is basically for one purpose only. It's to rest your hand on, drive like this or use this little touch pad to control this screen right here. So you can either use this or you can use your finger because it's a touch screen. So everything in here is very high qualitative. The screen has a very high resolution. You don't see the pixels, nothing. Then you have this wonderful screen here, which is for the driver. And you can even change the appearance, how it, how it looks. So I can use this little black knobs here that are also touch screen 
to change the style of my tachometer, of my speedometer here. For example, I can change it for, to classic when I drive normal roads. If I want to drive a little bit faster, go out of the setting again and then change it to a sportier setting, for example, like this. The typical one that you see on acceleration videos, now it changes to yellowish style. It is so beautifully built. The screen is very robust. The steering wheel on the side, the seats feel great. Everything in here is very nicely made. You have a wonderful feeling even when you turn somewhere and use the turn signal. Listen to that. So nice. When engaging in a gear, it is such a nice pressure applied. Everything feels so elegant. When I press down or press up, it has a nice pressure of the spring to really give you a qualitative feeling. So there is where Mercedes is the best in its class and a lot of car manufacturers could look up to them. It's really, really low for my head head here so I really don't have any space. If I, if I sit like I would normally do, I will touch with my head on the top. But if I lean back a little bit, I think it's okay. Uh, still, if you want a big car, buy something else. But children could easily fit in here and for short travel, also adults. Other than that, I mean, look at the design of these beautiful seats you're looking at in the front. And when looking into this uh, wonderful uh, front of the car and the design, you feel very comfortable and luxurious sitting inside of the CLA. So that is wonderfully made. All right, that's it for the interior. Time to drive. So what we're gonna do now is put the car into the sportiest setting. So for that, I have to change on this little, little wheel here to race mode. So I am now in race mode. I can see the gauge changing. Everything is set to the absolute highest. The exhaust valves are open. Now what I can do is I can put it into manual mode. So I'm in charge of shifting and I'm going to turn off the DSC into sport handling mode or in this particular case DSC off. So now let's accelerate from zero and find out how fast this car really is accelerating. So stopping here. Whoa. <laughs> that felt insanely fast, man. I ha oh my God. That wasn't a four second run. Trust me on that. That was much faster than four seconds. Much faster. I mean, this car really is going. And I mean, it's really, really quick, man. It's surprisingly quick. Zero to a hundred, four seconds is a lie. It's, it's faster and I have to do it again. So I'm stopping now. <laughs> the engine revs very high. Although it's a turbocharged engine, it really doesn't have any turbo lag. It feels more like a naturally aspirated engine. And it revs up to 7,300 RPM, man. It is so high revving. It has so much power through a very stable bandwidth. Eight speed AMG DCT double clutch system. Insanely fast shifts. And the car really is an incredible driving machine. So when I saw it the first time, I thought it was kind of girly and I felt like, uh, well, pff, it's nothing for me. But now, <laughs> when driving it, I mean, it's incredibly fast. First of all, the acceleration is crazy. But the performance in the corners is also absolutely recklessly insane. Everything works very nicely going, suspension working fine. This is so much fun, man. Hard on the brakes. I mean, the car really feels insane. Very nice to drive, really. And it is not a girly car. It might look very nice to the woman's eye, for example, because it's a very handsome car, but this is really ridiculously fast, man. I have to admit, 
I, I'm very surprised of how the car goes around corners and how it how it accelerates it is very 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 interestingly to drive and it's so much better than the old model because when I drove the A45 it felt like crap the first one it really felt bad I didn't feel anything of it, it like in an AMG car this one have, has a very special differential so it's capable of pushing up to 100% to each wheel in the back so this is very good and for example when you drive normally on the Autobahn or in a city drive in comfort it is more of a front wheel drive car so it's incredible that they managed to do something like this and I think there's not much to say man the car is absolutely bonkers and it's really worth the money and in my opinion it earns the AMG badge it's really a good car a lot of turbo pressure feels very very comfortable that's actually a quick ass car man this is really really quick surprisingly quick stable and nice and the power is immense man wow the power is really incredible the brakes are also very good let me drive through that forest here very sharp in turning this is actually very surprising for me and the four cylinder revs up to over 7000 rpm so stable the brakes are also very good this is a, this is actually very surprising it really made me made me smile man and i have to accelerate one more time from 0 to 100 before we finish so <laughs> Thank you very much for subscribing if you did. Thank you very much for looking at the videos, liking our stuff. And if you didn't, please do so, support us. Thank you so much. God bless you and see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>